नमस्कार साथियों देर आर थ्री पैरामीटर्स अराउंड विच अवर लाइफ रिवॉल्वस हेल्थ वेल्थ एंड हैप्पीनेस हेल्थ इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ इट इज एक्सक्लूसिवली अवर ओन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी so for that as of now in the current lockdown situation it is strictly required to stay home wealth because of the current situation as of now we should not be thinking much about it as our life is at stake as of now the most important thing the third is happiness which is directly proportional to the quality of our relationship so today the right thought process of a healthy relationship which i have titled as a to z of a healthy relationship well before that let me tell you about the reason why i am discussing this yesterday i was talking to one of my friend in us and immediately after dialogue with him i was watching a dna analysis on z news and was surprised to know that the common factor which came out of both these conversations both these things was that there is increased incidence of domestic violence being reported in us and all around the world so now the situation is that it is very very difficult for people to be in the confines of the home because of the lockdown all around and the big number of cases being reported for the domestic violence reveals that the world needs something a pathway for developing a right kind of thought process for the relationships so this is what intrigued me this is what instigated me this is what inspired me to come up with a video on my one of my article which i wrote it some couple of years ago and i'm living with it and i am really feeling very happy following those things what i noted based on my own experience so sharing with you all today hope you like it and i request you to share with whomsoever you think they can get help out of it well whether it is a love marriage or arranged it just doesn't matter what matters are the following fundamentals let's see one by one and i have made it in a b c d format so what is with a a is acceptance acceptance means love when you love somebody you accept the way one is with all the flaws with all the shortcomings you accept in total don't try to change the other person the fundamental mistake what we try to do is that we expect and we try to change the other person which is never going to happen only change if it is possible it is you only can change yourself not the other person is ever going to change so you need to understand this fundamental first so accept each other's person's flaws and limitations every soul needs approvals appreciation affection from your partner right 
So these are the basic needs and as the fundamental goes, you should be behaving the way you expect the other to behave with yours. So to be able to do all these things what I have said before, it is very important to give up on your arrogance. And the only solution to attain all this is to have empathy. So, empathy is the solution. If you have empathy, you can accept all the things. The second point is, point number B is bonding. Keep doing best to strengthen your relationship till last breathe. Don't set any limits on that. That I have done this. Till what time I will keep tolerating? No. Strengthen your bonding. Okay. C is communication. Communication skills have to be worked out. There is no shortcut to that. Strengthen it to the best. Without disrespecting anyone, have always assertive communication, which is a clear, powerful, and a positive expression. All right. Another point in point C is conflict resolution. Do not sleep till your conflicts have been resolved, and those conflicts should be resolved with mutual respect. What is a conflict? Like one person sitting at, uh, on the figure C, one person sit, uh, standing on the one side will read it as 6, another person will read it as 9. Both are right on their own way. Both their perspectives might be right. Okay, So one will have to surrender to it and that only can lead to a comfortable conflict resolution. If you stick to your views too much, that is arrogance and that will never help you to resolve your conflicts. So, the best way is to be a little bit be submissive, beyond a point, no point in trying to prove your point every now and then. But make sure that you do not sleep till your conflicts are resolved with mutual respect and never pause your communication with each other. Compassion, love, understanding are only ways to resolve conflicts. I repeat, compassion, love and understanding are only ways to resolve conflicts. Never compare your spouse with anyone else. Right? So, nothing obvious is... Nothing is obvious in any relationship. You may have to communicate for every small point. And third important component in C is a commitment. Commitment Committed mind will never let the relationship fail. Right? So, let's see what is a D. Never doubt each other. Whenever you are doubting your partner, you are not expressing, but thinking too much, that is overthinking, and, fool, and feeling insecure for no reason. This is where the telepathy works. This is how you invite negativity in a relationship. So don't do it. Right? Now E. E is another most important and because of which the relationship many a times comes to an end and that is ego. So, try your best to make your relationship ego-less. Ego within you always wants you to judge. To judge others, including your partner and punish 
him or her. One who is frequently getting hurt in the relationship is more egoistic. As it is your false self which gets hurt. Right? When you don't understand yourself, you become egoistic. It is very important to know yourself. Right? So, when you don't understand yourself, you become egoistic. You just need to remember that this, you just need to remember that the situation and people are not hurting you. It is you who is creating thoughts of hurt and hurting your own self. So stop blaming and take responsibility to heal yourself. No erosions of the past can heal quickly. Reformat yourself every morning in your meditation. No expectations from each other. Give your best in your relationship. And you will start enjoying it. Never be dependent on your partner for giving happiness. 99% people get frustrated in their relationship because they think that their partner's responsibility is to give them happiness. No, it is wrong notion. Absolutely wrong notion. Somewhere down the line, your tolerance and acceptance limits are becoming poor. So, need to work on yourself. Blaming is invitation to endless frustration. I repeat this point. Blaming is invitation to endless frustration. This blaming attitude ko main ek bahut achhe se hindi mein samjha sakta hu. Ek hindi mein kahawat hai dhool thi chehre par aur aaina pochte reh gaye. So folks in English if I wish to explain that dust was on your face and you were busy cleaning mirrors. Right? F F is for forget and forgiveness and be the best friends and follow each other. Be friends to the best of each other. Right? One should not have any hesitancy. At times we try to manipulate. At times we try to play mind games. Never do that. G is have an act of gratitude towards each other. Express your thanks to each other every day for being in your life as companionship is must for your social health. H is having a sense of humor to the best with each other. Enjoying with each other's company is must for healthy relationship. Be childish, doesn't matter. Be childish. As long as the child within you, the humor within you is alive, you will definitely enjoy the relationship. Right? So, next comes is I. I is individuality. I stands for individuality. Give adequate space to each other. Respect each other's individuality. Respect likes and dislikes of your partner. We are all humans and we all make mistakes. Admit fast, realize and correct yourself. Expecting sorry from other is your ego which is not allowing you to forgive. 
you need to forgive yourself first and then only you can forgive your partner see how you can expect healing unless you have forgiven yourself you will never heal yourself right so once you realize that you are the one responsible to create hurt it becomes easier to forgive yourself the next point is no there is no point in proving your superiority as when you do that you are making your own partner to feel inferior if one partner makes to the other partner to feel inferior and trying to prove his or her superiority there is always uncomfortable situation in that relationship never do that right j my point number j is no jousting jousting no jousting never compete with each other both should be a one team to fight the worldly challenges never try to pull leg of each other work on the issues and stick to the issues do not try to point fingers on each other take all the decisions regarding family matters jointly if only one partner repeatedly takes all the decisions on their own the other feels frustrated and rejected while taking a decision no one can be right or wrong as it is only a time and the consequence of the decision which only the time can give answer right so next comes is k k is for kids never ever fight in front of kids particularly if they are of teenagers group never do that if younger than teenage group again never do that because that affects the child's psychology don't do that as they are observing your behavior and you are constantly playing role models for your teenager kids right next point comes is l l stand for love and love is not what you are thinking what i will be saying love yourself first if you do that you will never ask for it you will just give and give and give be confident and respect yourself first be confident and respect yourself first then only you can give love and respect to others right then m m stands for money matters if both are earning share the family expenses in proportions to your income money is needed for life but that doesn't mean that you start living for money only money in life has the same importance what petrol has to drive a car we need petrol to drive a car but not keep driving only to fill the petrol so stop going crazy for money but at the same time never underestimate the importance of money then comes point number n never scream on your spouse respect his or her soul screaming an expression of your anger means you are not able to handle that particular scene so 
you need to work out on yourself to be able to become more aware of your own thoughts and replace with the respectful ones being angry being angry also reflects that you are posing your superiority on your partner ask yourself is there any better way to handle this scene right let me clear one more point here which maybe i'll be covering it again in the next points that when you try to bring the past files that is the only way to express your anger you always you'll say this is how you have been behaving this is what you do this is how you are they will do that that means you are bringing the past files once you have forgiven you have forgiven all your past files your own files your partner's file so better don't discuss on all those things again and again otherwise you will not be at peace your relationship will not be at peace right next point o o is for be open minded just express your opinion in any given situation and live it the other person may or may not take it having expressed stay distracted having expressed stay distracted if your opinion is accepted no need to feel too great no and nor any need to get upset if not right so the next point is p physical never lessen the physical attraction for each other never lessen the physical attraction for each other another component in p is one can the past p another part in the p is past one can never change past accept it comfortably and live in present leave the past in the past point q is never ever quit give more and more expect the least in terms of love and respect i have been saying this respect word many times the next is r and here i will explain what is respect respect the institution of marriage and a lot of people are really confused with what is the meaning of the word respect respect means no judgment no controlling no criticism and no blaming i repeat respect means no judgment no blame no criticism no criticism and no blame right so at times we develop a tendency of controlling your partner can never try to control just express your opinion and stay distracted so respect in the relationship is very fundamental of any relationship means if you tend to judgment to judge every time you expect that your opinion should be the final one these are all the ways you are inviting troubles in your relationship let's see what is s obviously s e x sex sexual intimacy and attraction never let it be less at any point of time and at the same time never 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 do any sort of physical mental 
emotional or financial abuse with each other all right next comes next alphabet is t now the t is keep your tolerance for each other to the best never use your partner ever as a punching bag if one partner is observed is absorbing your punches be ready ready to have a pressure cooker effect some point of time so never let that happen understand you stands for understanding understanding and empathy is must in any long term relationship i have already done a session a video on empathy uh if needed i will definitely include one uh, link in this also one can definitely go through that video as well so any in any relationship understanding and empathy is a must and for any long term relationship are the good one among the two be it always never try if somebody starts suddenly acting bad don't try to copy them if you are good one be the good one don't try to change yourself just because your partner is misbehaving any anger cannot be dealt with anger always remember you have to use opposite emotion anger has to be dealt with love anger has to be dealt with respect so never do the mistake what your partner is doing don't try to copy it next alphabet comes is v v means varied roles men should be respected as husband and the lady as wife w wrongful acts have intense awareness wrongful acts will you can make out your wrongful acts only when you have intense awareness if ever defaulted in a relationship take ownership of your acts and be regretful ask for forgiveness first forgive yourself then only it will become easier for you to ask for forgiveness and then only you will won't be doing it again then use your wisdom to the best w also stands for to make use of your wisdom to the best x never let your present become x partner always be prepared to give forgiveness and forget the bitter moments never why why stands for never open up your past closed files of conflict gone is gone right no one can ever express an anger without opening its past files z is having zeal for each other never involve your parents or even your friends in your family conflicts take full ownership of your problems and lastly if chronically both feels in spite of the best efforts things are not working out try to consult a counselor before you try to conclude or try to conclude your relationship but you can always 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 be open to give more and more number of endless chances don't worry about it don't try to think that you will divorce go for another relationship you will be doing the same mistakes in that and it is very proven fact with long term studies that once divorce relationship goes into the another relationship and the chances are more than 75% that in second relationship also that will break up 
75% chances are there that the second relationship will break up because you have not worked on yourself. So, my dear friends and all the folks, all the listeners, all the viewers, it's my ardent request to all of you that try to focus on yourself, try to change on yourself, bring a major change on your thoughts, put question mark on your thoughts that am I correct, am I thinking in the right manner? Try to put question mark on all your thought process. That only will help you to give up your arrogance and that's how you'll be able to resolve all your conflicts and all your relationships can be improvised and that is the pathway to happiness. Thank you very much. Hope you liked it. Do share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel, Lok Talks. Thank you very much. All the best. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.